guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do the mid-year book freakout tag because I did this last summer and I loved doing it. I think they're so fun to watch as well as make because you get to see all the books that you've read this year, your favorites, your not so favorites, and what other people think about them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it and I hope you guys enjoy. So to start off, I just want to mention I didn't do a lot of reading this year. Um, I had a really hard time... <laughs> balancing that with my schoolwork so I focused more on schoolwork at the beginning of this year but I have been getting back into it and I think I have read like 42 books at this point which is really good I'm proud of that um, but I didn't have a ton of books to go off of nonetheless I still enjoyed a lot of books that I read so let's go ahead and get into the questions the first question says the best book of 2018 so this one would definitely have to be the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo I devoured this book recently loved it I've had it on my shelf for a year and just recently read it and absolutely fell in love with it it was so incredible the writing was beautiful the storyline was so perfectly methodically like filled out. I loved it so much. I felt like she was a real human being and she wasn't um, and I just think it was fabulous in every aspect. So 100 stars to Evelyn Hugo. Favorite book of the year so far. The next question is the best sequel that you read in 2018 and for this one I would go with Beneath the Sticks and Bones by Shauna McGuire. This is a part of the Wayward Children series that um, I just recently started reading and I've been loving so far. I think that this was such an awesome um, addition to the storyline as well as giving you some good background on some of these characters so I loved that addition to it and I think um, it definitely like progressed the story in the way I wanted it to so I I just love that book. I'm really excited that that was the second one because I think it gave a lot of answers to questions I had in the first one. Next is a new release that you haven't read yet but you want to. For this one I would have to say Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Tommy Adeyemi? I think that's how you say her name. So this book is supposed to be really really awesome with some people of color as well as great diversity and some magical elements in a fantasy world and if that doesn't sound good I don't know what does. I'm so excited to pick this one up. Everyone has been reading it and loving it and so I knew I had to jump on that bandwagon and get to that one so that is definitely one that I have been wanting to get to it just recently came out so hopefully I get to it very soon next is the most anticipated book for the second half of the year and this one would have to be Dear Evan Hansen I don't know who it's written by um, I'll definitely put the thing over here but this book is uh, the novel version of Dear Evan Hansen which is a Broadway show if you guys haven't heard about it it's incredible I love the music from it I think it's such an incredible show and to get to read it in a physical book format I think is so exciting and so fun. Um, it's kind of like what they did with um, the Hamilton books that people came out with. They came out with a lot of um, YA and adult fiction books about Hamilton. So now they're moving on to Dear Evan Hansen and that makes me really happy because I love that show so much. So I'm really excited to get to read that as a book and that comes out sometime later this year. I'll put the thing right here but I cannot wait for it. I tried to get an arc, got declined, so we gonna be waiting till the release date, okay? <laughs> Number five is the biggest disappointment. And for this one, it's gonna be, sadly, An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This book, I wanted to love. I wanted to love it so bad. Um, and everyone compared it to, for me, they compared it to um, A Court of Thorns and Roses and that kind of fantasy fey world. And it just didn't live up to what I was wanting or expecting. The characters were weak. In my opinion the story building was not expanded and there was just insta love and i'm just not really about that so yeah i was pretty disappointed even though the cover beautiful next is the biggest surprise and for this one i would have to go with you by who is it by caroline kepnes this book is so interesting. I remember getting it on Book Outlet last year and I just never got around to reading it. Um, and I always knew what it was about but I didn't think I would love it as much as I did. It's about uh, this guy who basically becomes obsessed with this girl and you read the book in the perspective of second person so he's basically recounting everything that she does but you feel like the author or the reader the writer is talking to you why can't I speak um so it says you walked over to the kitchen and you grabbed a banana and I watched you as you did this and oh my gosh it's 
as horrifying as it sounds um, it really made me feel uncomfortable but it was a really easy book to read I think and so I absolutely loved it it blew me away way more different than I expected but I still really enjoyed it so yeah if you guys haven't picked that up I would definitely recommend it that surprised me with how much I enjoyed it and I try to recommend a lot of my friends to read it because it is coming out to be a TV show so hopefully that's good I don't know we shall see but Dan Humphreys the guy which makes me laugh so hard because true next is a favorite new author and that would have to be Mindy McGinnis I recently read the what is it called female of the species and I absolutely loved it it was absolutely incredible I think her writing style is one of my all-time favorites um, so I just know that I want to read more of her books she has a great writing style she develops characters really really well and they have flaws but I think that's what makes them so interesting to me um, so yes she's one of my new favorite authors and I can't wait to get to some of her other books I have a madness so discreet by her on my shelf and I've been wanting to get to that for so long so hopefully this will push me to read that as soon as possible. Next is newest fictional crush and this one would have to be Michael Fawn from The Kiss Quotient. He is precious and very sweet and I think he's just a great person overall. Um, if you haven't read that book go read it. Wonderful. I think it was very cute. I gave it I think four out of five stars. That's a little sneak peek for you guys but <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I think he was just a really great character who meant well in almost everything he did so I'm excited to say that I like him and also he's supposed to look like a k-pop star because he's half Vietnamese half Swedish even though k-pop is Korean but he's half Vietnamese half Swedish so he's supposed to be gorgeous so yum next is newest favorite character and all I'm gonna say for this one is Evelyn Hugo okay pick up the book Evelyn Hugo favorite character probably one of my favorite characters of all time favorite character love that woman wish she was real like I want to be her friend I wish she was real but anyways Evelyn Hugo next is a book that made you cry and for this one female of the species by Minnie McGinnis I said in one of my other videos I was sitting in a park I finished the book and I have tears running down my face in the middle of a park and it was just a mess but you know what it was worth it because it made me so sad but also happy but also sad and I I just made me cry okay it made me cry next is a book that made you happy and I picked Aquacorn Cove by Katie O'Neill is that her name yes Katie O'Neill she um, makes graphic novels and this is a graphic novel all about this girl who is going back to visit this town where she used to live um, her mother died in a really bad accident so she and her father moved away but they are coming back to help clean up after this really bad I think it was kind of like a monsoon hurricane thing um so they come back to clean up and she finds this injured um what's it called aquacorn so it's like a little unicorn kind of thing but it lives in the water so she takes care of it and it's one it's a sweet story about sweet characters as well as there's a lesbian romance yes 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 and there's also some really good talk about um environmental awareness and the importance of realizing what plastic does to the environment as well as the ocean so I thought it was so cute I got it for free on NetGalley you guys can go download it even if you're not a big NetGalley user I'm pretty positive it's free for everybody so go and find it, it comes out in October so I'm really excited that I got to read that early but I thought it was precious the art style is gorgeous it's colorful it's adorable and I loved it so I uh, that one just made me so happy um, the awareness the female female romance as well as just cute it was just cute it was cute next is the favorite adaptation you have seen this year so I couldn't think of anything and then I realized that I read The Handmaid's Tale this year for school and I absolutely loved it so because I loved it so much I started watching the TV show and you guys I'm sure I don't have to tell you but the show is so good it is terrifying it's incredible I love it so much um so yes that is definitely probably my favorite adaptation because wow is it good you guys just I don't even know how to explain it go check it out okay next is favorite video that you have done this year and for this one this is gonna sound cheesy but 
I really enjoyed doing videos with Patrick because he is not a huge reader, but he really enjoys making those videos with me. And he always tells me about your comments and I always read them and we, we just love seeing all the nice support um, on my videos as well as the ones that he's in because he was a little bit nervous about it, but um, now he's kind of gotten into it and he finds it really fun. So one, I'm thankful for you guys for being so sweet and nice to him when this is not really his terrain or territory, but he really enjoys making them, so I really enjoy making them as well. Um, so those are definitely my favorite videos to make. Um, I really liked the video that we did that was meme filled because we're memes, but <laughs> it was fun anyways. Next is the most beautiful book that you have bought this year. And for that one, I'm going to have to go with... <sighs> I have so many, okay, but my favorite one probably recently is Vicious by V. Schwab. They just released the hardcover editions of these, and I love it. I will put the picture right here, but it is so gorgeous. I love it so much. I've always wanted this book, and I just didn't love the cover of the other one, and now that this came out, I had to buy it, so I'm so, so happy I have this one now. It is gorgeous. I'm so excited to read it, and yeah, display it on my shelf. Next question is books that you need to read before the end of the year and I picked three because there are so many I need to read this year but I have three that are on my top of my TBR and those are Fury Born by Claire Legrand, Never Night by Jay Kristoff, and Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. These are all books that I have either had on my shelf for a while and have been meaning to get to and just know everybody loves them or like Fury Born it just came out and has had so much hype around it and I just know I'm gonna love it. So those are three that I definitely need to get to this year. So that is gonna be it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you guys can subscribe and like the video down below. And you guys can also leave a comment of what you guys feel about some of the books that I mentioned. Um, if you have any opinions on some of those um, and how you have done this year with your reading. Let me know what you guys have read, how many books you've read. I'd love to know because I think it's really interesting. Um, if you guys want to, you guys can click the little bell notification because sometimes my videos don't show up um, all the time. So if you click that, you'll be notified from every video that I post. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!